So you drove by the stage yesterday. <laughs> and, yeah. and, and what were your thoughts as you drove by the stage? Um, I haven't been back to the stage since we um, were not on the air anymore. They told us we wouldn't be otherwise known as canceled. Um, and I went down there because it was a good idea. You guys were like, maybe we'll go down there. And I drove past and I saw it and I, I turned into a snotty, blubbering idiot <laughs> because it was just like so long ago. But it was like I could have just walked into Club 7 or into the <laughs> dressing room and just picked up and just, you know, started doing the exact same dialogue. It was amazing. If, if you were able to talk to the little girl that you were when you were growing up, right? what would you say to her? You're going to make me cry, aren't I'm you? I'm trying to make you cry. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> I told Belinda, I'm, I'm going to make her start crying. Um, <laughs> the, you, you guys, too? I just have to tell you guys are so lucky because... When we grew up, there was no shows with brown people on them at all. <laughs> and, um, you know why? Because you get them in and they start taking things, throw <laughs> rugs on parking side. Shut up. No, but it, the, our show was the show that I wish that I, when I was little, I had seen and grew up and just thought, you know what, brown people are cool too. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> my wife, my real life wife, Anne, told me that you were gonna be my wife in the mid 90s before right. I had anything going on in my life. Anne is my, where is she? There she is. Personally, Ann Lopez, George's wife, cast me as your wife, like when I was still working at a gas station, okay? She <laughs> believed in me and literally said, George, when you have your sitcom, Constance will play your wife. Mm -hmm. And this was like, I don't know. Well, she so didn't just long say ago. once in a while, she'd say every day. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys realize that, that I was so bad in the beginning? Um, <laughs> well, we, well. I'm gonna say it, I was. <laughs> Well, the best part about you was that you didn't know how inexperienced you oh, were. <laughs> no, no, seriously, because when you don't know, you just say, okay, I'm going, I'm gonna go. I was gonna say something bad, but there's little ones here, so I won't. But you were like, okay, I'm gonna do this. This is my mark, here's, I'm an actor, I have my own sitcom, no problem, and you just did it. The best part was that you had this little thing that you did <laughs> that would work in your stand-up, but as a TV dad, not, chill, man. You guys not are so chill. great. He would now, bulge his eyes like Wait, wait, crazy. let me tell you something. I have a little clip here for you. I think you All might right, enjoy it. I think you might enjoy it. I can't wait to see it. Let's watch George. <laughs> I was, trying, I was trying to make you guys understand. <laughs> Remember when Good Day Live would come and that guy Steve Edwards always was hot for you and he'd be like, where's Constance? Where's Constance? And then we dressed Bobby up, the prop dude, check this out, oh as you. God. Oh my God. <laughs> right? Those are my clothes. So Bobby still works on the show. Check out Bobby. The sad part is he looks better in my juices than I look. <laughs> okay, Maharishi, back to the tent. <laughs> Check out this clip of Constance and I. Delta, take one. Delta. Delta, <laughs> Dawn. What's that flower? <laughs>